Hello and welcome to our AFT Fathom 13 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series, Video 3. In this video, we are going to discuss placing and defining objects, the workspace, and unit system preferences. AFT Fathom has the capability to use both English and metric units with English units selected as the preferred units by default. You can easily change the preferred units from the user options in the tools menu. The Preferred Units section is where you can change your unit system. There are multiple options that allow you flexibility to work with a unit system with which you are most comfortable. Clicking any of the units in the Preferred Units section displays a drop-down menu where you can change the preferred unit for that parameter. To save your new desired unit system and preferred units to use with other model files, click Save as New User Defaults before clicking Save and Close. The workspace window is the primary area for building your model. This is a drag and drop canvas interface that you will use to build the model of your piping system. By default, this is just a blank canvas. To help you organize your pipes and junctions in a neat manner, you can turn on the grid from the arrange menu. In addition to enabling the grid, you can also choose either 2D or isometric pipe drawing modes. To build the model, you use a combination of the icons in the toolbox on the left. If you are not sure what an icon is, you can hover your cursor over it and a tooltip appears to identify the name of the object. Also pay attention to the useful tips that appear lower in the toolbox while hovering over an icon. A junction is a general term we use for any toolbox component that is not an annotation or a pipe. This model will use two reservoir junctions and one valve junction. Connecting junctions with pipes influences flow, pressure, and temperature distribution through the pipe network. You can double click the pipe drawing tool to draw multiple pipes. Hit the escape button to turn off the pipe drawing tool when you're done. Junctions may have one or multiple pipes connected, depending on the junction and its use. However, all pipes require a junction connected on each end. Once the pipes and junctions are drawn on the workspace, it's time to define them. You can click the List Undefined Objects icon on the toolbar to guide you in defining input. As a reminder, follow the blue highlighting to define the minimum required input. I will be defining the pipes and junctions now. For Reservoir J1, I will enter a liquid surface elevation of 50 feet. For Valve J2, I will enter an inlet elevation of 15 feet. I will use the K-factor loss model, and I'll enter a K-factor of 50. For Reservoir J3, I will enter a liquid surface elevation of 20 feet and then click OK. This defines all of our junctions. Now for pipe P1, I will select my pipe material as ANSI steel, select a 12 inch size, and enter a length of 400 feet. When we open the properties for pipe P2, you'll notice that the material and size are already pre-filled. By default, AFT Fathom will remember the most recently used pipe material, nominal size, and type, saving you clicks. To define this pipe, I'll enter a length of 250 feet and click OK. You can hold right-click on a pipe or junction to display its input information. Another way to easily view input information is in the Model Data window, which displays input data in a tabular format. The Model Data window has three sections, the General section at the top, the Pipe section in the middle, and the Junction section at the bottom. Each section can be resized, collapsed, or expanded. The general section displays basic information 
like the number of pipes and junctions in the model, solution control tolerances, and fluid properties. The pipe section and junction section display input information about the pipes and junctions on the workspace. Not all pipe and junction input parameters appear by default. You may have noticed when navigating to the model data window, the toolbar changed. The first button in the model data toolbar opens the model data control window, which allows further customization of the displayed pipe and junction input parameters. There are a variety of customizable options in the model data control window, and changing the displayed pipe and junction parameters is just one of the things you can modify. With all the pipes and junctions defined, the status light is green and you are now ready to run the model. In summary, you can build a model in AFT Fathom by dragging pipes and junctions onto the workspace. You can then define your pipes and junctions in your preferred unit system and set your preferred unit type for each parameter. You can review your model inputs in the model data window. Thank you for watching and feel free to refer to the other topics in our AFT Fathom 13 Quick Start Video Tutorial Series.